guys. Got into camp about 11 o'clock last night. Not so much of a camp, just a bit on the roadside here. Um, yeah, run a little bit low on fuel as well, so we had to stop for tonight anyway. We're just outside of Eridunda. We're going to get some fuel and keep on going to Alice so we can get this uh, damage repaired. So, Pete flew a right hand rear shock yesterday, doing some corrugations to check out the Pete ruins. So, we're going to try and head into Alice and see if we can get some shock sorted. Um, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Let's you know when we get to Alice Springs. Just stopped at El, was it Eldunda? Is that where we are? Eldunda? Yeah. Just stopped at Eldunda Roadhouse and they got an emu farm here. And... Psst. Oi, Mr. Emu. Hello. No. no, don't want to come over here. Some more coming in the distance. There's like a stack of emus fenced up in here. There's one coming. He's coming. Thinking about coming over. Come on. So yeah, this is an emu for those that aren't in Australia. This is one of our native birds. If he's not gonna try and eat my camera. Better to get this one over here. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey. Yeah. Don't try and eat my camera. There no. we go. Oh, they're all coming over now. Here we go. Whole crew's coming. Oh, oh, oh. He's getting bossy. Yeah, right. time to reorganise this wood and then we'll be on our way up to Alice Springs. See you there. So I've just come back from checking out these emus and reshuffling my wood on the roof and we notice Pete's got a flat tire. So She's a flat. So we're going to take her off and uh, see if we can patch it later on and put the spare on and keep going. So, on our way up to Alice, we've just come across the Cannonball Memorial. So, that's in Japanese, so I can't read that. Yeah, so, we'll look, read that. look around this side. So, might be a bit windy, but yeah, we'll flick around and we'll have a look. So, in memory of Keith Slim Alan Pritchard, the official, Timothy Linklater, official, Akihiro Kabe, competitor, Takeshi Okano, competitor, who died at this location as a result of a tragic accident during the inaugural Northern Territory Cannibal Run on Tuesday, 24th of May 1994. So, I would say they, uh, I would say they crashed. A little tire or something, maybe. Who knows? Going too fast. Yeah, too fast. So what was the run? It was from where to where? I'm not Darwin to Adelaide, I think. I think it was Darwin to Adelaide. Yeah, so we think it was uh, Darwin to Adelaide. It was uh, just a high speed run, as fast anyway, as you can go. So Google it. Yeah. So if you're interested in that, Google the Cannonball Run in Australia. And uh, you might find something interesting in that one. Alright guys, so we managed to get a hold of shocks at Don Kite Spares here in Alice Springs. Just some heavy duty 80 series ones, so we'll put in the back of Pete's Prado. Um, it's not too far off, they're just getting installed now. Had a bit of problems getting the old ones out. As most of you 90 series owners will know, those top bolts are a pain in the backside to get into. So, uh, the tech here has cut the shocks out and he's fitting the other ones now. So, on the hoist. 
you see out the back down the back there. Um, yeah, so we're just going to get those sorted out and we'll be on our way shortly to try and find a spare tyre, maybe. See how we go. And then onwards to head out to Kings Canyon and find a camp spot for the night on the way. Alright guys, just rolled up to Lawrence Gorge campsite. So Pete just straightening up. So yeah, it's quite nice. Nice little creek and everything, I'll show you. Got a big fire pit over there for the night. Still quite warm, which is good. Yeah, that's where we're going to be setting up. Good morning, everyone. Campsite day four. Well, day five now. Yeah. What are we, day four or five? What is it? Thursday. Day five, isn't it? Day five? Oh, shit. It is. It's day five. Thursday, four. Four? It's day five. Left on Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And it's now Thursday. Today's Thursday, is it? All day? Yeah. Uh, day five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, day five, in the morning. It was a, it was a good sleep. And I can hear planes overhead. It's great. Thought we were in the bush. Alright. And, uh, yeah, just the old campsite so looking around I'll get a bit of sun there so just the campsite I relented I'm gonna have that sausage you're gonna have that sausage for breakfast yeah okay is it hot enough yeah it will be now <laughs> and it's not it's okay so yeah, this is our camp's fire set up for the night, which is there, and I'll set up. I didn't pull my awning out again, it's not really damp up here, so not really getting any moisture in the air, so there's no point of really running my awning right now. I will do over the Simpson, but yeah, that's uh, that's our little site. And yeah, we're going to chill out for a bit, then uh, get on the road and head down to our next location, which should be pretty awesome by um, what I'm told. Is that right? It's a good location? Yep. Yep. Alright, it's a good yeah, location. Alright, done. Alright, catch us in a little bit. Alright, so we're on our way out. We're checking out some ruins called the Owen Springs. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a board here, so we'll have a look at it. So what does the board say? Anything cool? So this is the first station for cattle, cattle station, built in Australia, so. Are you ready? Yeah. Got me nap. Got your hat? I should probably get mine, but. And a bit of, uh, That's alright, I'll deal with it again. Moisturiser. Yeah, I need to do that crap again. I'll get my hat later. Uh, let's go check it out. So this is the first cattle station in Central Australia. Yeah. Hmm. Unreal. So some people will be down here already. Footprints. They were tough buggers back then. Yeah. Fancy coming up from Adelaide to body here to body establish it. Well, I guess someone had to do it, didn't they? Oh, yeah. There's but water but and everything that used to run through yeah, here. But so. you didn't you didn't know what nah. was up here. Nah. 
you didn't even know how big Australia was, to be honest. No, you. no, you're right. Who would have known? So, still in pretty good nick. So remain outside the fence protection area, stay off the ruins and supervise yeah. your children. Well, there's no children here. So, we're good, but we'll go have a look. Won't be able to wander through it, but... There's more over there. Yeah. Who knows? We'll find down in a sec when we read some of these boards. So, okay. So this is the old homestead. Shower. Okay. That's the old smithy. Saddle, oh shit. Yeah. So that's a saddle. Storeroom and ancient shed. Yeah. That's that, that over there is the old smithy. Oh yeah, that was a saddle. That was a saddle shed there, yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff is here still. That? Yeah. It's a cellar. Tank stand was up the back. Yeah, that's something there yeah, that was. Partnership with Charles Gordon who previously manages a builder. Yeah, okay. So he bought it back and then uh, anti-government purchased it in 99 and Parks Wildlife took over control in 2003. Right. Okay. There you go. What about these signs down here? Let's go look at these. Was still some of the timber was. Yep. 84, 2011. Then they, they did conservation work, so yeah, they uh, rendered it by yeah, the Yeah, conservation, yeah. Yeah. 1984, yeah. And you still had a roof on the old saddle shed. Mm. Yeah, you can see some of the roof yeah. there. Yeah. They probably took that down off of it. Excavation. So they had a Check cellar. cellar. Yep. Good lord. Mm. Alright, cool. Yeah. So I'll go around the fence. I'm not going to go in there because that's naughty. But have a look first. We'll go check out the old smithy ruins. See if I can. Now I've covered it back up. Still full. They've covered it back up. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Can't see down there. They did fill that in after they excavated it. Guess, guess they would have filled it in to protect it. Back in to prevent any further degradation. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Very cool. And this is. Oh, Jesus. But at least we can see. Yeah, they uh, got the photos there to have a look at it, so that's pretty good. Deliberately blocked with rocks. Okay. 
reasons I've known to have known. Shit. Mm. Okay. Western end. Alright, so where are we? We are at the start of the Fing Gorge. Fing Gorge. Which goes into what's the national park? Right. What's the national park? Yeah, we have to have a look. I can't remember the name of it. I'll check it out, it's alright. Go have a look. <laughs> there is the name of a national park. Let's go have a look at it. Before I show you around. Of Fink Gorge National Park. There you go. Fink Gorge Ooh. National Park. Done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> there we go. Fairly simple. See, so yeah, we just come in here. How, how far in you reckon? Couple of, couple, of, couple of k's, couple of k's, couple of yeah. k's in, and yeah, this is what we're greeted to see. This is an awesome cliff wall on a dry riverbed. Pretty awesome. So, want to go for a walk over there? Can do. We'll go for a walk. So, I reckon up over there, probably. Looks like a bit of a track, doesn't it? So we're just going to go and get a bit close to this rock face, cliff wall, whatever you want to call it. She's a warm. Don't know how hot it is today. I don't have phone reception, so I can't tell you the temperature. It's fairly soft. Not bad though. Yep, yeah, people have been camping on the riverbed. Not quite into the national park yet, but yeah, we got right up to this wall. Yeah, the horse has always been down here. There you saw like five, five or six brumbies roaming around. Soft, here we go. Hard ground again. I don't know how far up we can get. Hey, we can get right up there. Cool. There for a bit of a bush bash. Watch out for the horse shit. It is everywhere. Pretty much. Yeah, I know, it's nuts. Should probably put some sunscreen on after. Been getting sunburnt, so. So here we go, so pretty well. This is what we're looking at. It looks amazing, it's awesome. Can't complain with that. How good does that look? It's amazing here. Pretty impressive. Been here for what, thousands of years. Oh. All right. Go back over. And we'll continue on. Yeah, so I'll just show you guys that. It's uh, pretty awesome. I like it. We're back when I come across something else awesome. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and we've uh, just come across this place here. So it's a water hole and yeah it looks pretty awesome. Let's check it out. And there's fish as well, look. Yeah, it's heaps. Millions of them. Hmm. So, yeah, guys, it's Boggy Hole Campsite, we believe. Pretty sure it is. It's the only one that's on the map. So, yeah, onwards we go through the National Park. 
All right, so we've just rocked up at a Canter Bush Campground, which is uh, down, down bumfuck nowhere, really. Yeah, middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere, so, um, yeah. So we're lost. <laughs> we're lost. <laughs> maybe, maybe we are. We all might uh, park up here. If you want, yeah. That way the front is uphill. See, I'm downhill at the front. Yeah, I know, yeah. I'll do what you need to do. I'll go for a wander. So, so that's tonight's campsite. Please turn around. Just gonna go for a wander over here, see what this is. Looks like we've got some, like a toilet maybe. This is a luxury, if, if it's a toilet. Pretty sure it is. Let's see what we got. See, so yeah, we came down through Fink Gorge today, so this is where we ended up. Sure. Yeah, they're not good toilets. It's not good at all. That one's not much better. Okay. Toilets are horrid. Was this a shower? Maybe? Holy shit. We have a shower. Don't think it has hot water. It's cold, I think. So, let's check it. Oh shit, no, it's cold only. Cold shower. Not bad. Have to have to utilize that later. So I thought we got an old bore over there. Might have running water down here. Might be able to refill the water tanks maybe. So we'll check it out. Just gonna go have a look at a sign. And yeah, this isn't this isn't a bad sign at all by any means. So hey Pete. Yeah. We have a running shower, cold water. Fair dinkum. Yeah. Cold water. Cold water. Should be a cold ink, but we have a shower. Oh yeah. During our trip through the Fink Gorge, we met up with Lance and his son Reed, and we told them of the campsite we were going to be heading to that night. So while we were setting up, Lance decided to pop on by and stay the night, and this is what he greeted us with around the campfire. <laughs> Was that when the truck came past? <laughs> 
up here. He couldn't get out of the log. Yeah, he, he <laughs> little one. So big yeah. daddy, daddy kangaroo, right? Yeah. Mummy kangaroo. And then baby kangaroo. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Nice.